The Supreme Court has upheld President Trump's travel ban. The 5-4 decision says the president has the power to limit entrance into the U.S. from seven mostly Muslim countries. Jessica Bord, live near Bel Air with how, with how some Houstonians are reacting to the ruling. Hey, Jessica. Good afternoon, Ron. Yeah, the ACLU calls the ban racist and xenophobic. Supporters say it is simply misunderstood. A short time ago, I spoke with a man who won the green card lottery from his native Iran 11 years ago. He says he always wanted to come to America because it's the land of laws, but that this law he's concerned about. Bijan Persian Grill is bustling today. Along with food served, thoughts on the Supreme Court ruling to uphold the president's so-called travel ban. So that thing made me feel sad. Restaurant manager Mohammed Bilali emigrated from Iran more than a decade ago. He now worries about his mom not being able to visit him here in Houston. Actually, even morning I was talking to her on the phone, and then she said, when you want to bring me here, I want to visit you, I miss you. So even I couldn't say what, what I'm going to tell her about. Iran, North Korea, Syria, Libya, Yemen, Somalia, and Venezuela are the seven countries where people will have restricted entry to the U.S. to varying degrees. The Supreme Court had to decide whether the president had the executive power to impose travel restrictions on the basis of national security. The justices ruled it's in line with the Constitution. The argument that many of these countries were Muslim countries that it discriminated based on religion. The court said, that's not before us. It's not properly presented. And besides, the president's got the power to make this call. President Trump says the ban is to keep Islamic extremists out. Today, in a statement, he called the ruling a victory and a personal vindication. In this era of worldwide terrorism and extremist movements bent on harming innocent civilians, we must properly vet those coming into our country. Balali feels the ban is not about safety, but rather bias. Come on, it's, it's not a matter of that. This was the third version of the travel ban, the president first signing off on one a year and a half ago. That set off a wave of protests and legal action by various groups. The Council on American Islamic Relations, known as CARE, was one of them. Its branch in Houston says it's already received numerous calls from community members, fearful the list of countries affected by the travel ban will grow. I guess the biggest concern would be the expansion of it. But I think another big thing that kind of plays into our minds is how we're perceived in America in general. I think this might make some people perceive that they're seen as second class uh, 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 citizens. Now, the restrictions apparently vary from country to country, and they are not indefinite. The president can change them at any time. Republicans and Democrats remain staunchly divided, Ron and Reka, on this travel ban. All right, Jessica, thank you so much.